Number two, from the fiqh being, being mentioned, the issue of the calculation, somebody asked me why we pray Jum'ah before the Dhuhr time in our message. It's exactly the same answer. We pray Jum'ah, majority of the scholars, in the schools, they said, Salatul Jum'ah, as Salatul Dhuhr. You cannot pray it before the Zawal. But there is opinion of the fuqaha, small opinion, but this opinion is from fuqaha and from scholars said, from part of the Hanabila, they said that Salat al-Jumu'ah, as Salat al-Eid, you can pray it after the sunrise. So what we did here, we have a fatwa, we have an opinion of scholars. Even this opinion is not the majority, but there is an opinion of the fuqaha that said your Salat is correct. So to resolve the problem of parking and other issues, the brothers, they made ishtihad. And their ishtihad, it's not from vacuum. It's based on opinion of scholar. Even though it's not majority, but there is a scholar, respectful scholars. And we have a rule, very important rule. Man aliman, Allah saliman. If you follow a scholar, a real scholar, inshallah, I will be saved in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, so this is very important. So the issue of the, of the hisab or the ru'ya, it's also, it's, there is a different opinion. And you will be amazed that the first opinion to follow the hisab, clear opinion, it came from, not from uh, 10 years ago, it came from the time of the tabi'een. Ibn Shakhir, one of the tabi'een, his opinion said, and this is his, it's not a new opinion. So he said, if the, if the Hilal, you cannot see it for some reason, the people who has the knowledge of Hisab, Ilm, Ilm, Hisab, and Nujum, they have permission to do that. And there is some groups of scholars of Shafi'is, they have the same poor opinion, and even some of the Hanbalis, but small groups. So it's not a new opinion, but it's an opinion that is go back to the time of the Tabi'i. And this opinion, if it's going to help us to resolve problems, as long as we have, the, 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 we have a reference to go back, we are safe. So from fiqh perspective, we are safe. So our issue, I believe, wallahu alam, it's not a fiqh issue. The issue is we have to be truthful with ourselves. If I take an opinion, it doesn't have to be for political reason. Ten years ago, my opinion is to follow the radio. Now, I changed my opinion in 2006. Because the political atmosphere and, uh, is different. This is, not, this is not the way. So, number one, there is no fiqh issue. Alhamdulillah, there is the two opinions as been explained that are correct. There is there and fiqh, there is reference. This is number one. The biggest issue that we have to be honest with ourselves, that we have to be truthful, and we have, we have to follow the, the what, and, and we have to follow uh, the truth without any other outside influence. This is it. If you f follow this opinion of the fuqaha, if you follow Abu Hanifa or Imam Shafi'i, inshallah your salat is accepted, your psalm is accepted. The problem that, that you follow uh, uh, truthfully and you follow this. So this is in general, I wanted to share it with you, the importance of the, of, uh, of, uh, uh, the ummah, the history of the ummah, and, and also the, 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 the second thing is that the, the, the fiqh part, it's not an issue at all because it's been resolved a long time ago. So inshallah, maybe through the discussion we can, we can open. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum.